Hello and welcome to Read by Hewell. Today I'm going to be reading Squirrel's Autumn Search by Anita Lowry and Daniel Howarth. Squirrel's Autumn Search by Anita Lowry and Daniel Howarth. Squirrel and his little brother were busy collecting pine cones, berries and nuts. Autumn had arrived and food was everywhere. Juicy blackberries speckled the thorny brambles. Corn was being harvested in the cornfield. Squirrel's little brother picked up one of Squirrel's nuts. I bet you can't catch me, he laughed and then he ran away. They chased each other round in circles. Colourful leaves swirled all around and made Squirrel dizzy. Squirrel chased his little brother into the woods, but soon he realised he could not see his little brother or his food anywhere. Squirrel hoped his little brother wasn't taking any more of his nuts. Mouse scampered out of the leaves, carrying a sycamore seed. Squirrel started to feel hungry. Squirrel had so enjoyed chasing his brother that he had forgotten where he put his food. Have you seen my food? Squirrel asked Mouse. Have you looked in the meadow? asked Mouse. Squirrel searched the long grass in the meadow. He tatted and scratched his head. I'm sure my food is around here somewhere, he said. Rabbit poked his head out of his warren to see what all the noise was about. Have you seen my food anywhere? asked Squirrel. Have you looked by the pond? suggested Rabbit. Squirrel searched through the reeds by the pond. Leaves were floating on the surface of the water. Squirrel sniffed the air and tutted. I'm sure I buried my food around you somewhere, he said. Owl was watching Squirrel from above. Isn't that your little brother over there by the old apple tree? She asked. It looks as if he's got some tasty food to eat said Owl. Squirrel ran as fast as he could to the apple tree. Squirrel's little brother was so surprised that he dropped the nut he was holding. I'm sorry, he said. I was just so hungry. Did you know, said Squirrel, that food tastes even better if you share it? They smiled at each other and ate their tasty food together. The end. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed that book, please subscribe for future stories. Until next time, goodbye.